all right just uh three days later and you're ready to go at it again yep um have you made any changes this time we're starting a little earlier look at the flag can you see it can you get that high no wind so i think that's gonna be a bit more advantageous um took the bottle cage off went with a one-piece suit basically i just watched all phil guyman's videos and seeing what he's doing so those are the biggest changes and then the the real significant change is that i'm going to push more power so what suit you're just wearing a a, a new garneau suit nice tri suit yep mm -hmm. one piece no seams i probably should give a little bit of backstory on why this KOM even means anything to me. And mainly it's because my first time really ever going anywhere, back in 2011, I came here with uh, Barry Shepley's C3 High Performance Camp. And uh, basically, you know, newbie with a whole bunch of dudes who I respected and wanted wanted to think I was a good athlete and blah 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 and so I was like oh that's that's how I can prove myself I'll, I'll beat his time he's a really good cyclist and so I ripped it up the mountain and I think I went 152 and that was kind of the the funny joke then was I had went faster on Sean's bike than he had gone on his bike and so that was kind of like my first foray into uh, high performance you know being with high performance guys but anyways, ever since then, the mountain has been like a very personal thing for me. Basically every single year I've come to Tucson, just about every year since 2011, sometimes multiple times per year. And every single year, the highlight of coming here is climbing the mountain. In fact, one time I literally got off the airplane at like 3 p.m. and Barry drove me straight here and we ran out of daylight. but. We climbed the, we tried to climb the mountain before the sun set. A lot of people were concerned about those helmet straps. Are, have you, uh, <laughs> are you going to tighten them up? Uh, if we miss it by a second, then, then we'll know that this was the reason why. I'll throw the helmet off. Like I said, I already have the time to ski valley, which is an hour and 39 minutes. And then in the last video, I got the time to the cookie cabin, Summer Haven which is an hour and 28 minutes. And so now we're working our way back down. And this is probably the real legit time anyway. This is the one that Mike Woods, you know, great pro tour cyclist, Tom Danielson, also great pro tour cyclist, Phil Guyman, also pro tour cyclist. All these guys, I mean, there's more down the list who have attempted. And Phil Guyman holds the best time. I mean, this is the stupid part about doing these, uh, you know, Strava things is that there's like 9 million segments going up the side of the mountain, but the two predominant segments, one's called Mount Lemon Official and one's called Mount Lemon, and Phil Guyman holds them both. Mount Lemon Official in one hour and 15 minutes and change at an average power of like 379 watts for him. And then the other one, Mount Lemon's like one mile longer, average or pace of about one hour, 18 minutes and 30 seconds. And that must've been an easier day when he did that one because he only averaged like 355 watts. <laughs>
Well, they always say don't ever rely on the, the thing because it's not official until it builds up on the Strava because the segments are different, right? But uh, I think I beat it by enough to say that I think I got it. All of them. Oh, I got butterflies in my stomach right now. <clears throat> I got it. Mount Lemon official. I think I took it down by just under two minutes. And um, there was another one too that Phil had called. Anyways, I got the one, the Mount Lemon official, called Mount Lemon official, which I believe is the official one, whatever. Nobody knows which one's official and which one's not. But I took that one by two minutes and 16 seconds. So that's like, uh, I know it's gonna sound crazy, but it's like one of my life dreams. <laughs> And so, uh, I mean, what did I do differently this time? Uh, get down in the arrow tuck in the drops. So my power actually wasn't like a lot more. It was, I averaged for the segment 381 watts, but the major difference was I spent most of that time down in the drops and kept my head, tried to keep my head tucked. <clears throat> uh, additionally, I wore the one piece suit, took the bottle cage off, uh, and then one really interesting one was I, 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 I did like the Strava premium and then I set up Strava segments on the bolt. And so the thing actually was telling me if I was plus or minus. And, and so I, I knew, I also read that the thing might be inaccurate a little bit. So I didn't know how inaccurate it would be. But anyways, I knew I was ahead the whole time. And I just didn't know, like I said, it was the first time using the Strava live segments and it's pretty much bang on as far as I can tell. So, and then the other big one was I rode the white line as much as I could because it's probably the faster surface going up the, the highway. So uh, I'm really, really happy with it. I know, I know like Phil's gonna probably drive here right now and beat it. And uh, he did this to me actually when I did, at that time it was my hardest effort I'd ever done in Palm Springs in 2018. It's called the Tramway, a really cool climb. And uh, I broke that KOM, and then literally two weeks later, Phil came and absolutely smashed my KOM. So please give me like a month with it. I think you, I think you might know what to do with this. <laughs> oh my God, I'm not doing to. this. You have to, for us, not for you. No, nah, no, nah, you gotta do it. That's why I wore the raincoat. Phil Guyman, you're a true inspiration, my friend. I want to take this opportunity, though, in all seriousness. If you find this entertaining or motivating, well, Phil's been a huge inspiration for me, and I hope you'll go. I know he had uh, some plans for this uh, coronavirus thing. He was going to go do a big bike tour out east and raise a bunch of money and unfortunately he's had to turn around and come home so I hope you'll go and support the charity that he's supporting and uh, and anyways thanks for the inspiration Phil I don't know why I'm doing this is ridiculous <laughs> but <laughs> yeah! uh, final little piece uh, the charity that Phil's supporting is no kids hungry Cheers. And so uh, I hope you'll go and donate some money to that. There's a lot of uh, less fortunate people really privileged right now to be healthy, be able to ride the bike. We're going to go through some tough times right now. Let's really uh, use this as an opportunity to help people who need to be helped and keep everyone safe and uh, healthy. And so I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. I'm going to go home and uh, donate some money to that charity. And I hope you'll do the same. So. Cheers. Hey, Phil here. Listen, I just got a little message for, for Lionel. Oh, I'm just passing my National Hill Climb Champion jersey. Uh, we're not going to let a triathlete keep this KOM. This, is, this aggression will not stand. 
uh, this, this charity washing where you do an evil deed and take my KOM and then donate. I'm not going to fall for that. No one's going to fall for that. And yeah, we've got this virus thing happening right now, so I don't know when, but this isn't over. It's not over.